What's going on, everybody? This is Lady Luck here again. I had to do a reaction to this video, y'all. Crypto Muscle OG is hilarious. Now, I have to give a disclaimer. He uses a bit of profanity, but so this this ain't for for the children. All right, don't don't play this around the kids. Please do not play this around the kids because <laughs> it, it's got some 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 language in here, but it's understandable. And I say this because I try my best to not use profanity, but I found myself using a way uh, more profanity in my videos about Novatech than all my other videos because it's infuriating to see this Ponzi scam take advantage of so many innocent people. And even worse, you have those Novatech promoters as clueless as they are to what's coming their way. Um, that will sit here and tell people, well, don't invest what you can't afford to lose. They're scared. They don't want to be sued. And some of them will be charged <laughs> with uh, wire fraud because promoting a scam is illegal. And only criminals will try to brush this off like this isn't a big deal. It is. Oh, it's a big deal. Oh, it's a huge deal. So you guys know I have not missed. Have I missed? No, I have not. <laughs> and many of them are so afraid. I want these petty ons, uh, the, the scammers that they are, to be arrested and imprisoned <laughs> in federal prison. Some of them promoters telling you that, oh, I don't want them to go to jail. They're not going to jail. They're going to federal prison. There's a difference. <laughs> jail ain't the same as prison. They're going to prison. This may be their whole collapse right here. It, it, it's, it's probably part of a plea deal of some sort. I don't know. Because Lord knows I've been saying, if they can't pay you all regularly, more than likely they had a hard time paying out on those um, cease orders as well in the restitutions. Because they owed money to California, Canada, and Wisconsin. And nobody seems to want to dis dismiss like the, to, to dog out the securities fraud warning they received from the Bank of Russia. Like, like, let's not forget that that was a security fraud warning. But yet, but yet, you got United States citizens sitting here trying to belittle our own federal laws. You got these scam promoters trying to belittle this stuff until they get caught and hit with a wire fraud charge. They'll be talking all that big smack until they get hit with a wire fraud charge. So good luck to dodging it. <laughs> Good luck to that. Because I told y'all, ain't nobody playing with y'all. But, oh my God, crypto. This crypto must OG here. He is so funny. I, I, I got into about 30, 40 good seconds of this video. And I said, oh, I want to react to this. Oh, <laughs> it's just good to hear somebody be so frank and honest about it. This Ponzi scam that is Novatech. It's a Ponzi scam. There's no crypto. There's no trading. It's a Ponzi scam. The end. What's up, Crypto muscle. Crypto. Crypto. Bubba Crypto. Coming to you with another YouTube video. So here we are. It's Friday morning. Man, I just had to let this... <laughs> you know, <laughs> sit and, and percolate a little bit longer. Stop at a percolator. Yesterday's latest announcement here <laughs> do, 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 on the Crypto Muscle Network. Coming, giving to you the latest in news and all that on the Crypto, crypto Muscle Network. The Death Watch series mm. is on. Going. Oh, yeah. That's right. It's ongoing. I love it. And you'll find the Death Watch series on the Crypto Muscle Network, and the Crypto Muscle original channels. I was wondering that. Okay, so there's two different ones. It's Crypto Muscle OG and Crypto Muscle Network. And you find it either way. Where you find the real news, the real information, along with other platform opportunities, so many other things, and not just some basic content, your cookie-cutter bullshit stuff you see all the time. <laughs> they just talk about the platform, that's it. There's a lot more to it with life, lifestyle, mm -hmm. and uh, just being a loose cannon outlaw in this space, all right, because uh, that's what's needed in here. 
to uh, clean up all the bullshit that goes on that I see in the space. <laughs> anyhow, let's just get to it here. It. Novatech. All right. Oh, my God. Uh, whew, where do I begin with Novatech? Man, I've been calling this shit out okay. for quite some time. <laughs> and it's more and more looking like <laughs> going in the no, direction of Cash of X. Alright, and I'm gonna tell you I don't know nothing about most of these other crypto dumping pump and dump schemes. I can't keep up with them all because there's so many of them. They all go in, get you hyped up. You know, these ICOs that are fake. Nobody watches the the white papers or something to that extent it's called. I have a whole video being posted up now about that. Where one of the YouTubers go through the whole full value day and he goes through the whole process of how to create a fake crypto coin. Buy your fake reviews and comments, your fake advertisement, your fake e wallets, <laughs> your fake promotion of your fake cryptocurrency. And that's exactly what Novatech did. It's all fake, it's a Ponzi scam. To the FBI, if you're listening, please go after these stupid Novatech scam promoters. Good Lord, we're tired of them. Anyway. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what bullshit that you might believe, okay. Cynthia and all that stuff. She is a I don't give a shit. Liar. The writing is on the wall, all right? That shit is toast. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at the latest news here, all right? The biggest... I said it was toast after the last cease and desist order, but yeah, I mean, this is a collapse. I told you all, every scam does not collapse the same way. Didn't I say that? Didn't I say every scam does not collapse the same way? See, here, Vaughn, uh, there are a lot more people who know more about finance than you think they do. And sometimes it's just about being honest and transparent completely about this stuff. A scam is a scam is a scam. Every scam does not collapse the same way. It's not going to collapse when you think it should. It's not going to collapse in the manner that you think it should either. This is Novatex collapse. The problem is they went from AWS mining, which was a Ponzi scam, a Ponzi scheme through and through to another Ponzi scheme and they just renamed it Novatech. And if they are not subdued and taken in to the feds, they're going to continue with this Ponzi scheme. I don't care about the color of their skin. I care about the content of their character. And the fact that they're stealing money from people is inexcusable on every level, no matter how you put it. No matter how you dress it up. No matter... Who it is or what they look like. A Ponzi scheme is a Ponzi scheme. And it's not just gonna be these Ponzi, this Ponzi scheme with these stupid pettions that collapses. Oh, some of you promoters going down with this Titanic. You can't you tried to help build it, and you're gonna go down with it. Cold water and all. Bombshell news just came right yesterday. And I saw this yesterday morning. Oh, yeah. Um, well, it says right here, the following states and regions <laughs> uh, are restricted from registering accounts with Novatech, right? It just kind of popped up and came out of nowhere. It was, it was, this was a big talk. Because they didn't want to put it up because they knew Singapore, Pakistan, Canada, and U.S. So then there was a note that was posted here, please be advised. That Novatech has made the decision to discontinue direct operations in the U.S. What does this mean for members that's already in it? Well, all existing members are not affected. Novatech is still doing business as usual. New members will be. not be able to register for, from these addresses in these regions. When you cease all operations, that's all operations, not just recruitment. Do I need to look up the word the operations for you all to understand what that means? I mean, do I really need to do that? Do I really need to look up the term operation? Okay. All right. Since people got to be spoon fed, 
<laughs> Here's the term operation. Huh. The fact or condition of functioning or being active. Mm hmm. A piece of organized and concerted activity involving a number of people, especially members of the armed forces or the uh, police. A business organization, a company, an activity in which a business is involved. Why do I need to look up the term operation for you all to know that they are to cease to damn exist <laughs> and operate in the United States of America? Why, Lord? So when you scam promoters gave up your soul to Cynthia Pettyon and her dumb brother and husband, did you give them your brain for free? Did you not even try to bargain a dollar and 50 cents for your brain as well? Was it a two for one special? How far out of reality have you tapped? <laughs> <sighs> Do not operate. In the United States of America, little girl. I hope your attorneys tell you the definition of the term operation if you don't know what that means. Do not operate here means to cease to exist, cease to do business, period. You are not to do any business, to operate any business in the United States of America, not just with recruitment any and everything that comprises your stupid Ponzi scheme that causes it to operate you are to cut all that nonsense out in the United States of America none of you are getting any money okay since I had to look up the term operate let's get back to the video uh, check for back office support share this information with your team so they're saying that if you're in, your grandfather in. If you're out, well, sorry about your luck. You know, you, you can't join. <laughs> On the outside looking in, that's all you can do. I mean, cash effects do the same exact thing. I mean, uh, at the end of their run. <laughs> so it's not like, you know, this is, you know, some sort of bombshell. I mean, the writing's on the wall. Okay, Novatech has made the decision to discontinue direct operations in the United States. Whether they were forced to do it, it was part of a plea deal or a bargain, doesn't matter. I already looked up the term operation. Do not do business here. Bottom line, little girl, do not do business in the United States of America. I don't care how you had to come to that conclusion. Do not do business here in the United States of America. You all should not expect her to say anything either because I already told you all in my last video she ain't going to say nothing. Why do you all expect her to send out communication? Your cult leader is not going to say anything to you. What's she going to say? Oops, my bad. It's a Ponzi scam. Bye. <laughs> God. Come on. For a very long time, they were slowing down on payouts, and they're getting even slower and slower and slower. <laughs> it was and getting dumber, let, dumber, you know, dumber Cynthia lied tail. again, and being that she's a holy one, right? She lied again and again and again and again, right? Talking about she's going to communicate. That dumb petty. Look, girl, you are a habitual and inveterate liar. You live, breathe, eat, and sleep lies. You went from AWS mining to Novatech, both being Ponzi scams. You do nothing but lie and deceive and steal money from people because you don't want to get a job. I'm sorry, have you ever been in federal tr trouble or illegal trouble or criminal involved in any uh, criminal activity or fraudulent activity to where you actually have a, a record where you went to federal prison or something? I'm not saying it's excusable. I'm just trying to figure out why you think that you cannot get a job and actually have something legitimate and earn money the right way. Because one of your cult leaders, your cult followers tried to give an excuse about going to federal prison to make it seem like that that's a notable reason to scam money out of people. And I don't know how he thinks that. I don't know where you got that from. 
Where you get that from? That's dumb. It's dumb. It's dumb. Hey, more, which hasn't happened. Uh, they're going to get caught up in all this stuff, mm -hmm. which hasn't happened. It's, it's getting worse and worse and worse, right? I know, right? So it's pretty funny. <laughs> and now an insult to injury. Look at this right here. Yeah. <laughs> Please note, we are aware of an issue that is currently causing this miscalculations uh, in regards to commissions. We are currently what? still investigating the issue to find the root cause. But it will unfortunately need to pause all bonus payouts, which is those BAs that everybody's talking about, right? Bonus counts. Yeah. Until the issue was a Cease to operate. <laughs> Girl, you didn't need to send out this message to nobody. You already say you're going to cease to operate. That includes payouts, people. Cease to operate. <laughs> what? How you all forget about simple English? All of a sudden, now nobody can Google terms anymore. Y'all don't know the definition of operate. <laughs> you ain't getting no money. First of all, what the hell is version 1.0? Am I, what, what is going, what is version 1.0, little girl? What is version 1.0? <laughs> oh my God. Lord have mercy. Please note we are aware of an issue that is currently causing miscalculations. It's called, that miscalculation is called, we decided to cease to operate <laughs> in the United States. We ain't paying you all jack. We have no money. There's no liquidity. You're welcome. <laughs> it's resolved. Please also note that during this time, current cash out requests continue to be processed. Oh. <laughs> What? Thank you for your support, patience, and all that stuff. We will resolve it as quickly as possible. Man, last time it took a long time to resolve it as quickly as they possible. They ain't no resolving. Uh, so that was what? breaking news, right? Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. <laughs> and all I got to say is uh, it's almost like a, that's insult to injury here, right? It's one thing oh that you get the bombshell news, <laughs> even though it's not quite a bombshell, but it is for some people. This is nuts. That, oh, shit, you know, the <laughs> Cash Vex is the same thing. Hold on. Um, right, breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. <laughs> and all I got to say is uh, it's almost like a, that's insult to injury here, right? Oh. It's one thing that you get the bombshell news, even though it's not quite a bombshell, but it is for some people. Oh, that, oh shit, you know, no more U.S. Canada. I mean, Cash Vex is the same thing. Oh, my God. Um, But... Oh, uh, we're not doing any bonus payouts right now because uh, we got this little bit of an issue here. Yeah, it's called. I mean, oh, man, par for the course. Uh, yeah, this this shit this ship yeah. is sinking. All right, it's oh sinking. yeah, yeah. That, I what I say? The Titanic is going down. Take your scam promoters with you. <laughs> Hopefully, your cult members can all go can go to the, the federal prison with you for a wire fraud because they all keep forgetting that that's a real charge. <laughs> and then y'all can sit in there and have church in prison cells. That, that'll be something. Four four people per, was it, two people per prison cell? Yeah, y'all can sit in there and tell the stories of all the, the scam stories you can, you can uh, share together <laughs> over your bologna sandwiches and cookies. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> And so there's really no way out oh, except you my just have God. to, you know, just continue to stack your withdrawals. Today is Friday. All right. Oh, yeah, we my... Don't forget to come. Who that sound like Friday? In that uh, what's that Baker Gerard 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 Jeremy? What's his name? What's his name? Jarrell. What's his name? Right, it's thinking <laughs> fast. And so oh. there's really no way out except you just have to. You know, just continue to stack your withdrawals. Today is Friday. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Jason. Don't forget Somebody. to compound today is what they always say, right? Oh, God. So today is Friday. <laughs> I wonder if they, uh, I don't think they've posted the latest. They ain't get uh, no money. You ain't get no money. I don't think they've posted anything <laughs> new yet. Yeah. There ain't no money. In terms of the, uh, what you call it? No money. Uh, profit, right? The weekly profit. How you profit? So, right now, okay, my understanding no. is the withdrawals of BA slash and TAs, a combined, whatever, have been uh, still not Jeez, coming. operate. 
<laughs> since uh, the April 3rd payouts have come. Some received their uh, trading account withdrawals too, which only accounted for 5% of your overall account. Uh, some people have received it, trickle amounts of that. All right, a lot of April 3rd payouts have been received. But beyond that, nothing. Not a lot. All right, no 10th, no 17th, no 24th. Um, okay, how, how y'all going to get paid when they don't have liquidity? I, I already showed you all how much a, a, a traditional <laughs> a, attorney would charge you in litigation costs for these types of charges for securities fraud. I mean, you talking about millions of dollars <laughs> in the litigation. How how y'all get money again? What's their liquidity? What what's 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 how much money they got cash on hand? I heard it was down to two million. Larry said he get one of the millions. <laughs> if it's two million, Larry said I got dibs on one of them. <laughs> Larry, Larry, boy, he not buying no vacation house with no protect money. <laughs> y'all, Larry said one of the millions is mine. Y'all can kick rocks out, oh, God. <laughs> Let alone me, you know, right? So, oh. yeah, it's just, well, some of May have come, you know, which was odd. Um, so oh let me take God. that back. The first week of May was paid out, which was to su no the surprise to a lot of people as well. Uh, but there's no rhyme or reason as to what they're doing there here. There you go. Uh, there you some go. weird excuses have come up. Ah! <laughs> See, this is how the, the geniuses think alike. There's no rhyme or reason to a scam because there's no logic to it. Nothing makes sense. It's a scam. Larry said, DMs on one million. Y'all can get the other. <laughs> Nothing. All right. No 10th, no 17th, no 24th. Um, oh. Let alone me, you know, right? So, yeah. yeah, it's just, well, some of May have come, you know, which was odd. Oh, my God. So let me take that back. The first week of May was paid out, which was to su the surprise to a lot of people as well. Oh, Lord. Uh, but there's no rhyme or reason as to what they're doing here. None. Uh, some weird excuses have come about. No, hey, we honey. haven't heard from Dap in a while because he's such a dick. Ah! I mean, it's good that they shut him Wait up. A who is Dap? I never found out who that was. Who is Dap? Somebody gonna tell me in the comment section. Who is Dap? Dap, where you at? I heard he was butthole. Was that the one that I did the video, the short video on where he was on the boat? Like, y'all see who I'm with? She working hard. She on there shopping online. She ain't even doing nothing. Damn, <laughs> girl, you don't do that. <laughs> she was buying herself a house. She said, I'm going to leave Florida soon. <laughs> you got to figure something out. Child boo. He went out there to go hang out on vacation. They were spending y'all money on buying houses and cars. Who paid for that boat? Or wherever they was at. That two-bedroom condo that they put up for sale in West Palm Beach. That I have in my cease and desist video. That full video that's over two hours. Yep. I, I actually looked up that address. It's up for sale. So, look girl, once again, where the hell you at? <laughs> and that, that must be with her. Who, who is he to her? Like, are they brothers or cousins or something? What the hell? That's a nephew or something? Who, who is he really? Because you can't be that brainwashed, boy. Better prison is not cute. I'm going to tell you that right now. You like you just look too pretty to go to prison. Which was too su a surprise <laughs> too to a lot of people as pretty. well. <laughs> you ain't going to want to go. Uh, but there's no rhyme or reason as to what they're doing here. Uh, some weird excuses have come about. We haven't heard from Dap in a while because he's such a dick. <laughs> I mean, it's good that they shut him up. Right? Yep. <laughs> so it's um, like... It's called yeah. not going to prison. <laughs> I don't want to go to prison. <laughs> Yo, it's a totally different ball game. Let me tell you something. When you face some real <laughs> federal charges, totally different ball game. They tell you the first thing they tell you is to shut the hell up. Get off social media. Don't put out no videos. Don't put out no messages. Don't call. Don't text. Don't do nothing. Get quiet. Because everything you put out can and will be used against you in a court of law. 
Who Lord have mercy. I mean, y'all cult, ooh, y'all, some of y'all cult members are going to just fall right on in line with that. Wherever he is, hopefully they've been detained somewhere by the feds. Because, oh, you know, the way Dap was, he, he, he belittled you, he talked down to you. Yeah, he said about was he like, now he about to be know, prison inmate number shit, five for you know, a piece of shit. <laughs> that's, God, no. that's why they, they squashed him, right? A surprise to a lot of people as well. Hold on. Uh, but there's no rhyme or reason as to what they're doing here. Uh, some weird excuses have come about. We haven't heard from Dap in a while because he's such a dick. <laughs> I mean, it's good that they shut him up. All right? And oh. so, it's like, yeah, you because, know, you know, the way Dap was, he, oh he, he belittled you, he talked down to you, and he acts like, you know, he's the shit, you know, when he's a piece wow. of shit. Wow. And that's the thing about him. That's why they, they squashed him, right? They squashed him because yep. he talked too much shit. Oh, fa- and his mouth was getting him in trouble, mm-hmm. and that's why they uh, silenced him. Nobody likes federal because charges. it's better to be silent than to keep yapping his crap that he was doing all that time. And so Jabba. that's what happened with uh, Dap there. They had to shut him up. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Novatek is still in big deep trouble all oh right? yeah they are they've been investigated because the money hasn't been flowing out of here like you think it has and yeah, they're just gonna say keep waiting guys all right you know and uh we're, we need queen d here where's queen d out here with the uh, hope and prayers and yeah you know i hope <laughs> cynthia pulls through okay i pray for you get out of here cynthia cynthia and queen d get out of here with this shit yeah well who is queen d yeah, I didn't keep up with all you folks in here. They got so many cult men. I still laugh at Larry. <laughs> I still sit here. I'm, I'm still, I can't handle, sometimes I just can't even handle Larry. I can't imagine somebody 10 times worse than him. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't even handle his behind. He, he, oh, Lord, have mercy. Guys, all right. You know, and uh, we're, we need Queen D here. Where's Queen D out here with uh. the hope and prayers and... <laughs> You know, I hope Cynthia pulls through okay. I pray for you. Get out of here, Cynthia. Cynthia and Queen D, get out of here with this shit. (laughs) We all know this is coming to an end in 2023. This shit's over. Yep. You know, I mean. Oh, yeah. You know, it's funny how. um, Oh, my God. Let me see here. And they post some bullshit about. Let's see. Uh, Oh, here's one. This is from the Golden Team, all right? What is that? If you're in the restricted region, you will not be able to upgrade your account, so please turn on the automatic compounding button. What does that mean? As bonus payments. What's the automatic are- compounding button? So y'all programmed another compound inside of a compound. Okay, so the 365% APY was not enough. What y'all do? Cranking that up to 400? <laughs> How much of this man are you all just avoiding in these stupid compound calculators. How much of math are you just pulling out of this? I, I don't understand. Like the reality of math is just gone to you people. Who wrote what what Indian tech firm wrote y'all dumb compound calculator? Look, girl, where the hell you at? You putting out these messages, you approving this, y'all so smart. Guess what? All this is going to be used to get you in a court of law if she tell y'all to shut the hell up. Y'all keep putting out there. Who told y'all to do this? Golden team. Who told y'all to put that comment out? <laughs> oh, Lord. You're talking about a case of fraud to the 10,000th degree. Good Lord. Have mercy. God said, please leave my name out your mouth and out this Ponzi scheme. For <laughs> temporary on hold, this will allow you to account to continue to grow. Uh, Penny withdrawals will continue to pay out. Penny? When they are caught up, you can take the automatic compounding button off to what? withdraw, which will never come. They'll never get caught up. In other words, I will be announcing uh, in the near future something uh, exciting and very positive developments. That means that she gonna try to switch over to a whole nother scam. Y'all better get her ass and take her down. Lock her up. No. <laughs> uh-uh, SCC, y'all need this. Y'all need to speed up. Come on. SCC, FBI, y'all need to hurry. Y'all need to speed this up. 
Because that means she's going to do the same thing she did when AWS mining collapsed. She's just going to try to create something new. And she ain't even going to create nothing new. She's just going to rename it. That's it. That's all she's going to do. She's going to rename Novatech to something else. And then keep that same Ponzi scam flowing. Because none of this is legitimate. The SEC and the FBI, y'all need to hurry the hell up. Wherever she is, go get her and lock her the hell up and drop them criminal charges and be done with this. And then get all them promoters. Go get that whole golden team. Get all of them. The Diamond League and all them. Go get all of them. Yeah, they, they see my videos anyway. It's a whole list. It's like 464 people that was on that list in my, my main cease and desist video uh, of investors and people who Put money into this. Stealing money from people all over the world. But especially in the U.S., like, oh, it's still over 400 of y'all. Go get all of them. Oh, really? Really? Is that so? Come on. I mean, it's really hard to believe that. They're just trying to rename it. And, and let's see here. Going. There's another note. Uh, just got off the phone with the upline. Please know the effect immediately. No protection will no longer take U.S. residents. Blah, blah, blah. We know that. Um, and don't use no different addresses. Business as usual. Yeah, they're going to keep telling you to keep recruiting, guys. But this shit has been hitting the fan for a very long time. Yeah, no, keep on recruiting. And, uh, You're going to recruit so your behind shit. right in the prison. Uh, let's take, take a quick look at Drip, all right? Like I said, anybody got time for that? You went from AWS Mining you were the VP of that nonsense. And then all you did was go to a whole nother scam and call it Novatech. That's all you did. And um, no, ma'am, we ain't got time for that. The the, the, the FBI and uh, what you call it, need to move on in. They need to move in and go ahead and get your behind. I don't even know why you running. If you ain't so-called did that wrong, why are you running? Where you at? Why are you running? I don't get it. To me, that, that don't make no sense. You go from AWS Mining to Novatech. That was a scam. This is a scam. Come on, FBI, SEC. You all have enough evidence and info. And get the promoters. Get the promoters. Because if you stealing money... You big and bad and bold enough to steal money. You big, bad, and bold enough to face all them charges that's going to come with it. Now you want to, y'all want to get on here and decry. You know, we just have to, we just have to reshift our focus and our mindset. You know, we, we got to reset our days back to before Novatech. No, you're not going to erase all them videos you put out where you are promoting this scam. You're not going to eliminate the concept of wire fraud because you've lost money and you caused other people to lose money to a scam, not to an investment. You don't even want to help your downlines get their money back. You, you, you're going around the world and giving one excuse after another. We have laws. Follow the laws. The end. You don't want nobody to break into your house. You don't want nobody to assault you or your, your family or your children. You don't want people to violate laws when it comes to you. What makes you think that violating a federal law or two or ten of them or even the intent to violate these laws keeps you from being charged and being held accountable for that? Why should you get a pass? Why should you be excluded from upholding federal laws? Y'all want to sit here and clown the U.S. government? How about this? Russia sent a securities warning and nobody's sitting here talking about that at all. Nobody's clowning the Bank of Russia sending securities warnings. You know why? Because you don't want to piss them off. I don't think you all want to piss off the U.S. either. Trust me. Because when you're standing in court, you be crying like a baby. Y'all don't want to do that. This ain't about being negative. This is about you being either legal or illegal. And that's it. Bottom line.
Only criminals want to get away with committing fraudulent activity. Only criminals want to get away with committing fraudulent activity. Pump and dump schemes, your fake crypto, promoting scams, wire fraud, securities fraud, fraud, money laundering, probably some embezzlement, all going on in Novatech. Money laundering for sure because they had offshore accounts. And their own promoters confirmed that because they couldn't shut up. Because none of y'all can. Y'all don't have the ability to hush. <laughs> it, would take a, it would take a judge and an attorney to send out a gag order to tell you to shut up. The threat of you facing federal prison time, I'm sure, it has shut up that dat boy. Whoever he is. Whatever his name is. I don't care. Nobody has to be kind to you breaking laws. Nobody has to be okay with that. Y'all better start reporting these uplines and these promoters that are sitting here telling you all this nonsense. Positive and negativity has nothing to do with being legal versus breaking laws, being a criminal. We have laws in place for a reason. It helps to maintain order. It does. Just like you don't want people to come hunting you down because you're trying to hide with you and your dog somewhere. As if your videos aren't chock full of metadata that could give away your location and be nothing more than a tracking beacon to your location in and of itself. I mean, the very thing you're trying to do, you're not doing because you keep putting up videos. Because you haven't learned anything. You haven't learned anything. All your videos will be used against you. Your stupid disclaimers at the beginning of your videos mean nothing. Bank of Gerald, James, John, whatever. Mean nothing. They mean nothing. Don't deceive the 20,000 subs you got. Some of them you probably paid for. Ain't no telling. Don't lead these people down a well with these Ponzi scams and fake cryptos that you keep pumping and dumping. Stop it. Or you you, know, you can explain yourself to a federal judge. Good luck to that. That, that, that explanation ought to be uh, uh, awesome for you. None of these idiots can figure out what the, the algorithm is <laughs> to mine a Bitcoin. But yet, they went from one scam to another scam. Nobody wants to talk about the, the, the occurrence of scams. It's a pattern of behavior being developed here. This pattern of these positive scams flowing from one scam to another scam. She trying to pass it off like, oh, it's just, you know, it, it, I wasn't the CEO. Of the, you were the VP, you moron. You represented some form of executive leadership. And you still didn't care. And now you are CEO of another scam. Those seats. And the system of operations means you don't do business at all, not just recruitment. So don't expect any communication or money from this dumb pity on. I mean, the positive scam only works when people coming in with money to pay out other investors. Otherwise, when you stop that money flow, guess what? None of you will get paid because there's no investment in the fake crypto. None. If it were, why are you worried about recruiting new people? It should be based on your investments and it returning investment on your investments in the actual crypto, right? If that was legitimate. It's not. There's no crypto. There's no trading. There's no platform. It's just you bringing in new victims into your stupid scam. And you paying your old investors or previous investors with the new money, you're getting a portion of other people's money. That's it. That is a scam. That is a Ponzi scam. It's illegal. Don't let your so-called previous federal record be an excuse for you getting more federal charges because you decided to participate and promote a Ponzi scam. It's not an excuse. If you got to get a legitimate job, to keep your dumb ass out of prison. Then you do that. Why would you want to risk going back? That's my question. All fast money is not good money. 
Wire fraud is still wire fraud. Report these stupid scam promoters and sue their behinds if you need to when you decide to sue Novatech to get your money back because you're a victim of a Ponzi scam. You didn't lose your money to some stupid investment. It's not an investment. It's a Ponzi scam.